use of the stuff I got at some vintage sales. So, firstly, I got a what is it? Columbia Windbreaker. Columbia, right there. Don't know if you can actually read that, but looks pretty nice. It's a little, little ragged on the inside, but you know. But if I throw it on, uh, look at this thing. This thing is pretty nice. I mean, it's got some Velcro for, your, for all your wrist needs, and then you can zip it up. Apparently, I can't zip it up, but you know. No, I actually can't zip up, apparently. Never mind, not going to do that. But the zip's on the wrong side, which is a bit weird, but oh well. So, that's the first thing I got. Secondly, I got this shiny stripy polo thing. Massive Ralph Lauren logo. It's not bad at all. Yeah, if I throw that like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think I just stepped out of frame. Never mind. Oh well, it's a learning experience. I also got this other Ralph Lauren polo shirt. This thing is really nice. It's a little small on me, but oh well. But you know, little little red Ralph Lauren logo there. Don't know if you can see it. Again, I think this thing's pretty nice. And then finally, the favourite thing I got. This champion jumper. Now, I'm a jumper boy, so as you can tell, this thing. Woo! 20 quid Ryan's Vintage. Nice. It, yeah, just is really nice. Okay, and then I'm going to show you some other stuff. Now this is a, what is it, Tommy Hilfiger jumper that I got a few months ago. I think it's actually really nice. I think I got it for like £12. I mean, it's a little, little dirty around here, but what can you do, right? But this thing is cosy. It is cosy, boys, 2019 right here. Like, what can you say is wrong about this? Apart from it being dirty due to me not washing it for a little bit, but you know, oh well. But secondly, I got this Pill Sportswear jumper. Never heard of Pill Sportswear before, but this thing, it's just another jumper that's really a bit funky due to this little this little design going on on it. It's apparently a small and I'm like medium. This is an extra large, but you know, American size is different. But this is really nice. It goes a bit thin around this bottom bit, which I don't really like that much, but I don't wear that one but as often. But then finally, finally, there's this Tommy Hilfiger white and grey jumper. It is like my favourite, favourite jumper right here. It's a bit dirty again. Wore this yesterday. But yeah, this one is actually extra baggy. What size is this? This is an extra, extra large. So we really baggy boys out here. Like, but oh well, it's just really nice. Okay, so I'm not the thinnest guy out there. I'm a bit bit chubby, but some, some, a little tip for you. If you want to copy my style a little bit, baggy things for baggy boys. Basically, if you're a little, if you're a little chubby, wear something baggy, hides it all. Hides all of it. There's a little tip for you coming from me. Okay, so finally, a little, little bit of advice before I go and show you the rest of the stuff I got at Twin Leads. Actually, thrifting is so worth it for a student. Basically, you get things like this, stuff that looks really nice, stuff that like the stuff I've already showed you for such a low price. I mean, the first three items I showed you, I got for £12. What can go wrong with that? This, I think it was £15. The white and grey jumper I got, I think that was £20. Like, they, these are really quite high-end brands for such a cheap price. Who cares if it's second-hand? I'm looking good. I'm looking good on a budget. And that's what I need as a student. I've got, what, like 40 quid in my bank account? I can't, I can't be afford to spend a lot of money, but doing stuff like this, really, really worth it. 